Welcome back. This is episode number five of the best laptop setups. Quick announcement, congratulations to Koala from last week's episode. You are walking away with a $50 Amazon gift card. But we're gonna up the ante because this week's winner or this episode's winner is gonna get $75. So keep submitting those awesome laptop setups. The first laptop setup comes from Langit. He is coming from down under in Australia. He did not list the stuff on his desk, so I'm gonna take a big guess here. He has a very simple, budget-friendly, clean-looking desk setup that is practical. On the top, he has a Acer monitor. He's obviously running Mac OS since it's connected to a Mac laptop. It looks to be about 24 inches. I don't think it's a super expensive Acer monitor. My guess is about 1080p. But the one thing that I like is he has it on a wooden desktop stand. Now this is great because not only does it raise the monitor higher to bring it to eye level, which is better for viewing. It also gives you an extra space to put stuff. So like for example, underneath that little nook, he has his glasses and wallet. And I feel like this is a cleaner interpretation than just leaving the monitor directly on your desk. The second thing is the speakers. He's using some Logitech speakers. I'll place the names to everything in the description down below, but they're budget friendly. They do the job and they give him better sound than the speakers that probably come out of his MacBook. Now the MacBook looks to be a 15 inch perhaps, maybe a 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2018 or 2017. Hard to say with this kind of lighting, but um, obviously it's still servicing his needs. He's not doing any gaming, so basic general productivity will work fantastic for this setup. Now there's not a ton of cables on this desk. Like he went with a very wireless setup. Like the keyboard is also a Logitech keyboard. I think that's a budget friendly one. And then he has a Logitech mouse on the right hand side. He has a little bit of accent lighting on the right, which provides him some light when he's looking at his screen. And he has these panels on the back that provide some nice contrast to the wooden table that all this stuff is being housed on. Now there's a bit of neon lighting happening here, right? Like he has some neon lights on the back of the desk which give the room a different vibe if he's working at nighttime. Automatically I can tell this is an Ikea desk because those drawers are the Alex drawers that like everybody has from Ikea. The only thing I would change is the cable management looks to be a little bit messy. As you can see behind the monitor, the cables are kind of sticking out everywhere and his laptop is just sitting on the left. I personally don't like that. If you must use your laptop as a second display, which I feel like you don't need to with a bigger monitor, then put it on a laptop arm or keep it shut and, and place it inside of a laptop stand. It'll just make the desk look nicer. The next setup comes from Lorenzo. Lorenzo is from Italy. He's a nicer guy. He has a sister and a brother. He has a mother and a father. He's a good guy. And I like his setup, man. This setup is beautiful and, and it feels cozy, you know? And it's simple, but it's clean and effective. And the way he has it implemented inside of this nook makes it feel like a separate space from everything else that's inside of that room. Now he is using a Huawei Matebook with 256 gigabytes of storage and eight gigabytes of RAM. He's obviously taken the time to install Windows 11. Let me know how that's working out for you if you find it to be very stable. And there is not a lot of cables on the desk. You know, he's done such a good job with cable management. Yes, there's a couple cables sticking out on the left-hand side of the laptop, but that's about it. You know, the monitor, which is not even on a monitor arm, it's actually mounted inside or into the wall, like you would mount a TV over a fireplace, gives the illusion that that monitor is floating. And I think that looks mwah, barissimo. And on top of it, he has that BenQ light to give him some accent lighting when he's working. Now, he does have a charger for his phone. He does have a picture of an iPhone on top of the, or against the wall rather, which I've seen quite a few people do. But the fact that the monitor and the laptop display are in eyesight that look lined up gives it a nice appeal. Now he does have a cloth mat for his mouse pad. The keyboard he's using is a Matthias, which is actually my name in a different language, aluminum backlight. His mouse is an Infic. Bluetooth mouse and that mouse pad I mentioned is called the Delta Hub S size. Overall, this is a very beautiful setup. Let's head over to Vietnam and let's talk to Locke because his setup feels good. You know, like look at that. You wake up in the morning, the sun is just coming into the room. 
The shadows just span across your desk, offering this nice warm contrast. He has a little bit of life with the plant on the right hand side. It just looks great. And this vibe and feel changes depending on the time of the day, you know? And there's light there. There's light from the outside. He has a lamp on the left from Ikea. He has another lamp on the right to provide more directional light depending on what he's doing. And then he just has a setup. Now the laptop he's using is the MSI GL65 Leopard. It's an i7 10th gen processor with a GTX 1650. But I don't like the fact that it's just sitting there, you know? Put it on a laptop arm, put it in a stand, put it on a rack underneath your desk, and I think it would just make everything look so much better, especially because you have this BenQ monitor there already, which is a pretty big monitor. You really don't need that second tiny display beside you. Or if you're gonna put a second tiny display beside you, at least elevate the laptop to, to bring it to the same level as that monitor. Now he is using a wireless approach, like his keyboard is a Royal Kludge RK987A mod wireless that he set up by himself. And then he has a Daru LM115G wireless mouse. Now he doesn't have any speakers on here. He's either using his laptop speakers or he uses Bluetooth to send the sound to his Harman Kardon go and play Bluetooth speaker. But it looks like he's using a different keyboard depending on what he's doing. Like he has one of those Logitech two-in-one keyboards. So my guess is he might be watching content. He might like sit back somewhere and just wanna use the keyboard on his lap to control everything. And it just looks great. Like look how his phone sits on the table and then he has those lines going through that, that paper there. It just provides such a nice feel. And then, you know, you switch off the lights and you go into nighttime, you turn on the, the accent lights and then it just looks different. You know, you have this glowing light coming out from the outside. It looks like he has some RGB behind his monitor. I think it looks special. Speaking of which, not special, back to cable management. If you look underneath his desk, it looks to be like a little bit of a mess. There's, there's cables everywhere. That's probably why he's not sending me a picture of underneath his desk because he's probably ashamed of it. For the final setup, we're going all the way to Germany and talking to Lucas. And he does have a very nice looking setup. It's not my favorite personally, I think it could look much better considering he says he's very much into minimalism. I think he could be a lot more minimalistic with this setup overall, but he is a 23 year old political science student and he uses a desk mostly for studies. He's really into music production, but he just brings out the gear every time he's feeling motivated and he doesn't have it incorporated into this actual desk setup. Now, right off the bat, I love the fact he's using a standing desk. This is something we haven't seen in any of the best laptop setup videos. Like stand up desks are so good. You know, especially when you're sitting all day and you want to continue working, you just press a button, you can stand up and let the blood flow. He does have this nice wood material on the top. It looks like he probably just went to Ikea and bought one of their kitchen tops and then used that as the surface and then just bought the legs to complete his desk. Now the laptop he's using is a Surface Laptop 4 with a Ryzen 5 and eight gigabytes of RAM. And he has this connected to a 24 inch HP full HD monitor. He has a webcam on top so he can do his Zoom calls. And he's using a Bluetooth Microsoft keyboard and mouse, which is part of their designer set. Speakers look like they're from Logitech. They are the Logitech Z200. And he says he uses these because he broke his actual studio monitors. So sorry to hear that, Lucas. Now he does have other accessories like a Remarkable 2 paper, which is like an e-ink paper where you can write on and it remembers all the type of stuff you're, you're writing on it, which I think is very cool and really convenient for note taking. And then he has a Nullixi laptop stand and a USB-C multi-port hub in the cable duct. Now, the laptop stand. Not a fan of this one. It looks very chunky and it's taking up a lot of space on your desk. And if you're into minimalism, this is a no-go in my books. First and foremost, I'm gonna say it again, I repeat this a lot. If you're minimalistic, close that laptop, get it off your desk, you don't wanna see it, okay? For minimalism, put it underneath in a laptop tray. If you don't wanna do that, put it vertically in the laptop stand as a second option, but this is in it, okay? If you absolutely must have your laptop as a second display, for someone who's minimalistic, you're better off using a laptop arm because this way you can swing it out of the way, bring it back in when you need to use it and you can keep the laptop closed if you don't need that second display. Plus, you're giving yourself more desk space because it's floating, right? You have space underneath it to place stuff if you ever need to do so. I will say this though, Lucas, I do like your cable 
management. It's nice and clean. Every German person I've had on this series so far has had like the best cable management, but it looks good. So that wraps up another episode of the best laptop setups. Make sure to vote for your favorite one over on my Discord server, which you can find in the description down below. The winner will be taking away $75 to buy whatever they want. Make sure to submit your laptop setup to the email address. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.